G'day, my name is Shol and I uh, work for Micrographics. We can be found on the web at uh, www.mgfx.co.za. Right, so the purpose of this uh, video is to just to describe and discuss um, the improvements uh, Autodesk has made on the import and export uh, processes. Um, the first is that um, with obviously the version 2021.1 um, the first is basically the uh, ability to um, Im import uh, SketchUp uh, version 2020 uh, uh, models. Um, so to do that, uh, you basically would go insert, import CAD, um, and uh, just simply select uh, the SketchUp uh, option at the at the bottom to import the SketchUp. Now we could have done uh, SketchUp imports. Uh, um, before uh, it's just the version 2020 that they've now added um, which is the latest version of, of SketchUp and uh, um, the the workflow from SketchUp to Revit uh, is improved uh, in, in that manner. Right, um, what they've also done is um, they've also updated the uh, SAT and Rhino um, importers so that uh, more files can actually be successfully imported um, so that is um, a, a great addition um, the uh, yeah so basically they've improved those two uh, or three um, importing uh, uh, options um, another thing that they've uh, improved is uh, the if I close that is the ability if I go to the add-ons um, to enhance the materials when you bring those in from from format so if you import um, any format uh, uh, file um, it will the, the materials that you've uh, assigned to the format initial model uh, comes through uh, more uh, uh, similar in, in, in is shown sim in a similar fashion in, in Revit. Um, so they've in, uh, updated the ability and enhanced the ability uh, to import the uh, the format models and the materials thereof. Right, um, then if I look at uh, the exporting, um, in the past um, when you wanted to do 3D printing you had to um, basically install a uh, STL uh, add-on. Um, uh, this uh, add-on is now part of the installation of uh, 2021 and um, if you just uh, open that up um, it basically just asks you what format you want to um, export to. Um, obviously if you want to learn more about uh, the options that you have here, the resolution, and the, uh, you can just select on the uh, settings tab. Um, this is just uh, different formats. Um, you know, the 3D printer might read different formats, um, and then the resolution. Um, if you have curves, how smooth you want those curves to be. All right. Um, there's obviously lots to to this uh, still, but um, they have just added this add-on uh, into the initial installation. So no no additional things that you need to install if you want to uh, link to your 3D printer. Alright, so I think um, with all these enhancements and uh, add-ons um, that's now inside of of uh, Revit, um, Autodesk has really improved the the workflow uh, to and from Revit um, and I think it's a, a good uh, um, couple of enhancements. Um, Alright, so Thank you for uh, for listening and uh, see you on the next one.